Welcome to this Superimpose V tutorial session. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a very simple video project using Superimpose V. Let's start by tapping on the plus button to create a project. I can choose a photo or video from either my camera roll or the stock photos from Pixabay or a custom size and color or even pick a cutout from Mask Library created in Superimpose X. For this project, let me add a few travel photos. These two look good. Let me find one more. Now, tap the tick mark button to load all the selected photos. Wow! We already have a video timeline with the photos in it. But we can do a lot more to make it more interesting. We have added three photos into one track. We can add more tracks on top of this, but we will come to that later. First, let me reorder the photos in this track. And also add a video clip into this track. We can use this plus button on the same track to add another element into it. I can select this segment and then double tap on the preview screen to make the video fit into the canvas. As you can see in the video timeline, the images and the videos change abruptly from one into another. We can fix that by adding transitions. We can see these white squares at the beginning and the end of each segment. We can tap on these to bring up the transition editor. Here we have a large selection of different transitions to choose from. For the first one, I am selecting the basic fade transition. And for the second one, I choose this blur transition. And for the third one, let me select this cool fade out transition. Let us try playing the video. This is starting to look good. Let us add some music from Pixabay. Pixabay has a large collection of royalty-free music and audio effects. Let me try to find one that will suit this video. This one will go well with the vibe of the video. We are almost there, but I can add some text and shapes to make it look even better. I would like to add the shapes and the text on top of the existing video, so I tap on the green plus button to add them on a new track, and then select Shape Layer to add shapes and text. This however adds only an empty shape layer. I can double tap on the shape layer to bring up the editor, where I can actually add text and shapes. Tap on the Add Shape button to choose a shape. First, I am choosing text to add some text. Type the text and position it on the screen. Here, we can edit a whole lot of text properties. But for now, I am only going to change the fill style, the font and the text color. I think I should also add a shadow into the text. Let me also add some shapes into it. I can stack up more shapes into the same shape layer by adding more. I added three circles of different colors and sizes 
also added shadows into them, just like I did with the text. I can also make them move, using keyframes. Keyframes are discussed in a different video, but here I will just give you a basic idea about them. The basic idea is you set different property values of a segment, or an effect, or a shape, at different times. The app will then interpolate the intermediate values of those properties when the video runs. To fix the properties at a particular time, you tap on the diamond button on the right. This is called a keyframe. It should show up in the segment when the segment is selected. I am adding a keyframe at the beginning of the segment. And then I move to the end of the segment and change the size and the position of the shape. When a keyframe is already added in a segment, changing any property will automatically adds another keyframe. And, I repeat the process for all the three circles. And finally move the text up in the stack so that the text is always above the shapes. Now you can see the shapes are moving as the video progresses. This is what we have achieved using the keyframes. The last thing we need to apply to this segment is transition. Let us do that. We can also add a text over here. If we only want to add text and not shape, we can simply add a text layer. and add transitions here as well. We should now match the length of the music to the video. And make the audio fade out smoothly. Select the audio layer, and then bring up the fade options. Increase the fade out slider a bit. That is perfect. Now let us save the video. There are many different options to save it, like as a video or a GIF. You can also choose options like resolution or frames per second, but I saved it as a video, with default settings here. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.